what's going on welcome as always uh, here you can see we've got a new dinosaur and there on the right you can see that we've come up quite a bit on our stars but I don't want to have to contend with the dinosaurs while I talk about what I've done to bring this up so let's start right here uh, the first thing I've done is I've gotten higher rated dinosaurs so here we've got the ceratosaurus I've got four of them in here move the torosauruses over here and I've been getting a few more species to bring into the park here we've got the polycanthus and I've been putting those up here with the nesutoceratops and the struthiomimus they seem to get along they only need one to keep them happy I think I've got about three or I'm delivering three but the number of dinosaurs of course is important or the number of species of dinosaurs uh, another thing I've done is gotten the luxury path instead of just the regular paths and I've also started putting in uh, medium-sized amenities and large hotels and these amenities you can see their profits are a lot more than the smaller ones they can they accommodate more guests and but the the smaller ones do well as well there's a smaller one it's actually making more money than some of those over there some of these up here make a fortune but the medium amenities the hotel just different options for your guests to shop and eat and whatever um, I don't know that I've done too much other than that it helped that I put in a, a couple new types of dinosaurs and the these the ceratosaurus really brought it up quite a bit they helped quite a bit but I thought let me see oh um, now this is kind of a side note but as you're playing through these this Jurassic difficulty one you're gonna find that it, it costs a lot of money to do everything and you're trying to keep dinosaurs alive the whole time one you can go in and turn up the genome uh, on on anything let's say we want to do uh, some new whatever new pseudoceratops let's go here we'll modify the genome with the square and pick whatever we want for color and then we'll move on over here and when we get to the turtle let's turn this up that's all the modification applied 50 percent chance for longer life the animal costs a little bit more to make but you might get a little bit longer life out of these things than you know not watch them fall over dead and then hope your money gets back to you another thing is now I haven't tested this too much but I just started now and it seems to come back pretty quick that go out and take pictures of your dinosaurs about every morning if you're out of money drive right into your big groups come up here see where they are position yourself somewhere to get them all on film at once take uh and now every time you take a picture it'll be worth half of what the last one was worth but like i come over here and i do my pteranodons i just park here and take a picture of the facility and apparently it sees them but the first one was worth you know, 137,000. then i don't know whatever half of that is 70 some thousand then 35 then you know down and down but you still you get like 300 grand sometimes and and with these and the dimorphodons I bet I picked up 400,000 just the morning before this so anyways there's that and here are the little protoceratosauruses 
proceratosauruses. And those things are the least of our concern. Right now we've got a we've got this to do and that's all we're going to do. The four stars is it's been quite a job to get to here and keep up with it. And now that I've been taking more pictures, I have more money, but it takes a lot. So hopefully this will bring more guests down here and improve things even more. We've got the lagoon in. I've had to do all the research for this stuff, which none of it is cheap and takes forever. But let's see. Let's get a scientist, a few scientists going on these eggs in here. We've got at least two of them. Let's back out again. Do the... I need to remember to do that. Oh, I I didn't do it. Adding the a turtle to them. But anyways, we can assign scientists six fifty for the two of them, huh? She's gonna be mad about this. And we're gonna turn this back on. And turn a plesiosaur loose. Two of them, actually. Here they go. Another creature from the ancient oceans. This time, a plesiosaur. I've worked my ass off to get to this. That help it glide through the water. Like modern day sea mammals, it has to come up for air. It basically spends its time surfing and eating, which is not a bad way to live. They're incredible. It's so crazy that they're a reptile. But I mean. Open space? They don't have enough? Area. Population, open space. Keep swimming, man. There's more room over there. Well, hopefully they'll be happy because I can't really do anything about the open space. Yeah, there we go. A little happier. I mean, what was in their way that they didn't have open space? Fish all over. I want to... Well, Nessie swims kind of funny. Oh. That's a good-sized fish. I'm going back underwater with this thing. What about this one? Maybe it's hungry. And they really make them snake looking. Get you a fish. The polycanthus are fighting. Well, this has brought us up to 4.4 .4 so far. This is really gonna, I think, help the stars, but getting that last half is gonna be tough. A 
I have no more room to put anything else in the park, and I basically am going to probably have to get new dinosaurs. Which is never cheap. Really? He's making noise underwater? Yeah, I suppose. Things do. Let's let the other ones out, and that'll be good enough, I think. Search for like Tylosaurs or Leoplerodon or something. Problem with the Taurosaurus. And they look cool out there swimming around. Let's try and watch one underwater a second. Eh. Damn, the sound of that. I don't see any yet. Oh, swim, mackerel. Here comes the school. There ought to be one swimming. <laughs> Ghost fish. Deep below the gently lapping waves of the primeval seas, these animals were enduring a perpetual fight for survival. An oceanic kingdom where any predator could become prey. Well, maybe someday they'll have dinosaurs on their dinosaur tour. Look, they're all like right over in front of this. Yeah. Where the hell are they? There they are. There the hell they are. Man, what a tank. This thing would be millions and millions of gallons. I don't know how they would ever keep it for them. I feel like it might be about impossible. They've swam off again. There's one. Maybe. It's the Loch Ness Monster. There's another one. Doing what? Getting some air. The Marine. One. Well, whatever. They look as cool as can be. A little, a little snaky in the head, but super cool nonetheless. I think I'm gonna end the video right there. Add those things to your park, change your amenities, and, and make sure that you revamp your amenities now and then to see how to make more profit. Um, get higher class dinosaurs. Here's 238. These things are better than the Ceratosaurus. Anyways, best of luck on all that stuff, and I'll let you watch the Plesiosaurs, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.